Hello friends, welcome to study with Harshit channel and in this video we will discuss we will I have brought class 7 important questions MCQ in MCQ form we will discuss that questions of class 7 it is part 3 this is part 3 if you haven't seen part 1 and 2 so please see I have given the video link in description so moving to the first question moving to the first question see the sum of angles of a triangle is what is the sum of angle of a triangle see this see this is a triangle and it has three angles one two and third so one this angle name as one this angle name is two and this angle name is three so angle one plus angle two plus angle three will always make how much 180 degree angle they will always make a one 180 degree angle so option 2 is the right answer 180 degree angle they make 180 degree angle so moving to the second question yes this is the second question the smallest prime number is you have to tell the smallest prime number see prime numbers are the number which are not divided by any number except one and the number itself so the smallest prime number is 2 2 3 5 then 7 and so on so the first number is 2 so the smallest prime number is always 2 option number third so the third question is the fractions fractions having same denominators are called what are the fraction called which have the same denominators like 2 upon 5 3 upon 5 and 6 upon 5 so what this group of fractions are called so these group of fractions are always called like fractions these group of fractions having same denominators are known as like fractions so moving to the next question triangle triangle having two sides equal are called the name of triangle you have to tell which have only two sides equal not a third side so triangle the first two sides can be equal like this side is 5 cm and this side is also 5 and this side is different two sides are different so these triangle are always known as isosceles triangle isosceles triangle have two sides equal two sides equal equilateral triangle has three sides all the sides equal and scalene triangle have different sides different measurement side they have so moving to the fifth question is find perimeter of rectangle whose length and breadth are 12 cm and 21 cm respectively so how to find the perimeter of a rectangle if you don't know the formula of shapes you can check my video i have given the video link in description so the perimeter of rectangle we use the formula of 2 into length plus breadth so we will multiply 2 length is given us which is 12 cm sorry length is 21 cm here so we will write length 21 plus breadth breadth is 12 cm we will add 21 plus 12 which is equal to 33 then we will multiply it by 
2. So the answer will come which is 66 centimeter. C. Fourth option is the right answer. That how we find the perimeter of a rectangle. Then sixth question. Number that starts from 0 are called. You have to tell the numbers which start from 0. Like 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2 infinite. So these numbers that, that start from 0 to infinite are known as whole numbers. Remember they are known as whole numbers. They are also denoted by W sign. Okay. So this was the sixth question moving to the seventh question which is formula of area of a square. See formula of area of a square is you have to tell side into side, side into 4, side divided by 2 or side into length. So the formula of a square is always side into side. Or you can also we can also say that side square side square like 4 is the side you have to tell area of square of side 4 so we will multiply 4 by 4 which is 16 centimeter or you can also square take the square 4 square is 16 so this is the area of square which is side into side option number 1 is the right answer Moving to the 8th question which says that fractions having denominators greater than denominator are known as C fraction numerator greater like 8 upon 5 6 upon 3 and 7 upon 5 See in this group of fraction numerator means above part is equal means greater than denominator numerator are greater than numerator in this fraction so these fractions are known as improper fractions these fraction are known as improper fraction option number one is the right answer ninth question numbers which are divisible by two are known as see number like divisible by two like four is divisible by two 6 is divisible by 2, 8 is divisible by 2, 20 is divisible and so on. They, no, they are called even numbers. The number which are divisible by 2 and which comes and which comes in table of what? Numbers that comes in the table of 2 are also known as even numbers. So option 3 is the right answer. So the last question of the day is how many sides does a circle have? See, you always know, always remember that a circle has zero side. Always zero side. You can also remember that circle is like zero only. Circle is round in shape. So it has zero sides. Zero. So this much in this class. If you like this class, please share. And don't subs forget to subscribe Study with Harshit and subscribe our channel. Keep watching Study with Harshit channel and gain something new and share with your friends so that they can also gain something new about my channel. So keep learning and stay safe at home and don't forget to subscribe. Till then, goodbye and take care.